Let's go to Numbers, and we want chapter 8, and we want 5 through 7. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Take the Levites from among the children of Israel, and cleanse them. And thus shalt thou do unto them, to cleanse them. Sprinkle water, a purifying upon them, and let them shave all their flesh, and let them wash their clothes, and so make themselves clean. Let's go to chapter 11, verse 4. And the mixed multitude that was among them fell a lusting, and the children of Israel also wept again, and said, Who shall give us flesh to eat? Down chapter 13, Whence should I have flesh to give unto all this people? For they weep unto me, saying, Give us flesh that we may eat. Stay down to 18, and, and say thou unto the people, Sanctify thyself again tomorrow, and ye shall eat flesh. For ye have wept in the ears of the Lord, saying, Who shall give us flesh to eat? For it was well with us in Egypt, wherefore the Lord will give you flesh, and ye shall eat. Go on down to 21. And Moses said, The people among whom I am are six hundred thousand footmen, and thou hast said, I will give flesh, and they may eat a whole month. Go on down to 33. And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague. Let's go to chapter 12, and we want verse 12. Let her not be as one death, of whom the flesh is half consumed, when he cometh out of his mother's womb. Let's go to chapter 16, and we want verse 22. And they fell upon their face and said, O God, the God of the Spirit of all flesh, shall one man sin, and wilt thou be wroth with all the congregation? Go to chapter 18 and want 15 through 18. Everything that opened the matrix in all flesh, which they bring unto the Lord, whether it be of man or beast, shall be mine. Nevertheless, the firstborn of every man shalt thou certainly redeem, and the firstling of the unclean beast shalt thou redeem. And whose that are to be redeemed from a month old shalt thou redeem according to thine estimation, for the money of five shekels after the shekels of the sanctuary, which is twenty golfers, but the firstling of a cow or the firstling of a sheep, or the firstling of a goat, thou shalt not redeem. They are holy. Thou shalt sprinkle their blood upon the altar, and shalt burn their fat for an offering before my fire, made by fire, for a sweet savor unto the Lord. And the flesh of them shall be mine, as the waving beast, and as the white shoulders are thine. Let's go to chapter 19, 1 through 8. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and to Aaron, saying, This is the ordinance of the law which the Lord hath commanded, speak, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring thee a red heifer without spots, wherein is no blemish, and upon which never came yoke. And ye shall give her unto Elzar the priest, that he may bring her forth without the camp, and one shall slay her before his face. And Elzar the priest shall take of her blood with his finger, and sprinkle of her blood directly before the tabernacle of the congregation seven times. And one shall burn the heifer in his sight, her skin and her flesh and her blood with her dung shall be burnt. And the priest shall take cedar wood and hyssop and scarlet, and cast it into the midst of the burning of the heifer. When the priest shall wash his clothes, and he shall bathe his flesh with water, and afterwards he shall come unto the camp, and the priest shall be unclean until evening. 
and he that burneth her shall wash his clothes in water and bathe his flesh in water and shall be unclean until the evening. Let's go to chapter 27 and we want 15 through 17. And Moses spoke unto the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the Spirit of all flesh, set a man over the congregation, which may go out before them, and which may go in before them, and which may lead them out, and which may bring them in, that the congregation of the Lord be not as sheep which have no shepherd. Let's go to Deuteronomy. I want chapter 5 and verse 26. For who is there of all flesh that has heard the voice of the living God speaking out of the midst of the fire, as we have and missed? Let's go to chapter 12, and we want verse 15. Notwithstanding, thou mayest kill and eat flesh in all thy gates, whatsoever thy soul lustest after According to the blessing of the Lord thy God, which he hath given thee, the unclean and the clean may eat thereof, as of the, the roebuck and uh, as of the heart. Skip down and go to 20 and 27. When the Lord thy God shall enlarge thy borders, as he hath promised thee, and thou shalt say, I will eat flesh, because thy soul longeth to eat flesh. Thou mayest eat flesh whatsoever thy soul lustest after. If the place which the Lord thy God hath chosen to put his name there, to be far from thee, then thou shalt kill of thy herd and of thy flock, which the Lord hath given thee, as I have commanded thee, and thou shalt eat. In thy gates, whatsoever thou so lustest after. And, let's see, even as the roebuck and the heart is eaten, so thou shalt eat them. The unclean and the clean shall eat of them alike. Only be sure that thou eat not the blood, for the blood is the life, and thou mayest not eat the life with the flesh. Thou shalt not eat it. Thou shalt pour it upon the earth as water, and thou shalt not eat it, that it may go well with thee, and with thy children after thee, when thou shalt do that which is right in the sight of the Lord. Only thy holy things which thou hast, and thy vows shalt thou take, and go into the place which the Lord shall choose. And when thou shalt offer thy burnt offering, the flesh and the blood upon the altar of the Lord thy God. And the blood of thy sacrifice shall be poured out upon the altar of the Lord thy God. And thou shalt eat the flesh. Let's go to chapter 14. And we want verse 8. And the swine, because it divideth the hoof that cheweth not the cud, it is unclean unto you. You shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. Let's go to chapter 16 and want verse 4. And there shall be no leavened bread seen with thee in all thy coasts seven days, neither shalt there anything of the flesh which thou sacrificed the first day at evening. Remain all night until the morning. Let's go to chapter 28 and we want 53 through 55. And thou shalt eat the, fir the fruit of thine own body, the flesh of thy sons uh, and of thy daughters, which the Lord thy God hath given thee in the siege, and in the straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil, towards his brother, and towards the wife of his bosom, and towards the raiment of his children which he shall leave, so that he shall not give to any of them the flesh of his children whom he shall eat. 
because he had nothing left him in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee in all thy gates. Let's go to chapter 32 and 41 and 42. If I weep my gathering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance unto my enemies and will reward them that hate me. I will make my arrows drunk with blood and my sword shall devour flesh, and that with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginning of re revenge upon the enemy. In the Strongs is 1320, flesh, body, person of a man, body, flesh, kind, uh, Kind of nakedness, self skin. Let's have a prayer. Lord, forgive us of our sins and let us seek the kingdom of heaven and not let us have dead works. Give us wisdom to do your work and let us take up our cross. Please open our eyes and forgive us, forgive us if we <clears throat> cannot keep your word to you. Fill us with your light, dear Heavenly Father. Please keep us in good health. Lay it <clears throat> on our heart to talk to you every day. In Jesus' name, amen.